Well, hey, good morning, Catalina Foothills Church. It's so good to be with you again. After being away for a couple weeks, we were in Israel, and it was uh, an, a tremendous trip. Uh, and I'll try to do a couple devotions on it here coming up soon. Uh, but uh, pray for us. A few of us got COVID, and our, I, I am not one of them, and they're distancing at home. But uh, it didn't hurt our trip. The Lord was gracious. We got to see everything. We got to see where Jesus walked, where Jesus did ministry, and it was really wonderful. If you ever have the opportunity, take it. If you've wondered if you should, do it. Uh, but we are in Romans nine, uh, Romans 11 as we return uh, from Israel. And I'm going to read two, um, sort of two passages here that we might think together about all this being said because, again, Paul's answering questions about how can the gospel really be the answer that the Old Testament gave? How, how, how can this gospel be so good? And, and Israel has rejected it. And many in every nation, tribe, and, and tongue has received it. How can that be? And, um, and how does election, how does God choosing people play into that? And, and so I, I'm just going to read one verse here, and we're going to be looking at this this Sunday, and we'll consider it. He goes, I do not want you to be ignorant. Excuse me, this is Romans 11, verse 25. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. And we also know from passages here that there will be a revival among ethnic Jews at the end of time, and we've considered that. But here, Paul's making this point that he's made before, and that is someone is Israeli, not ethnically. Someone is Jewish when they have the faith that Abraham had. So that's why Paul says ethnic Jews have experienced a hardening until the full number of Gentiles come in uh, so that the promises of the Old Testament that people from every nation, uh, from every tribe, from every tongue, from everywhere would, would be brought in, Israel's failure to obey God in bringing the nations in caused them to be hardened by God's sovereign choice. And in this way, Gentiles are being brought in. That's me. I'm coming to faith in Jesus, who is the Messiah the promised Messiah of the Old Testament, and I'm part of the number that must be brought in, as are you, unless you happen to be ethnically Jewish, and then you're a completed, or you're a Jew who believes in the Old and New Testament, who believes that Jesus, in fact, was the Messiah. And we met several of those in Israel who say, I am Jewish, I want to live in this land, but I know that the Messiah, Jesus, has already come and his kingdom is reigning. So we can understand now what Paul says, that not all of Israel are Israel, because Israel, because true Israel are those who have the faith of Abraham, and that includes both Gentiles and Jews. And in fact, the hardening of the Jews is in order to make sure that the full measure of the Gentiles come in. And one of the passages we'll consider this Sunday in here, he says, Consider therefore the kindness of and the sternness of God. He's stern to those who disobeyed, but he's kind to those who trust him by faith, provided that you continue in his kindness. From first to last, from the first message to the last message, the message of the Bible and the message of what we call the gospel was trust God for your salvation. Follow Christ with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And God has hardened to Israel, and we're going to see that on Sunday, that he could engraft, this is the language he's going to, he's going to engraft the Gentiles until they have all come in. In fact, we might end today by just reading the doxology, because this is complex, and it's hard to understand, and it's complicated, and it must be because the infinite, eternal, and unchangeable God is involved in it. But in considering this hardening of Israel, the bringing in of the Gentiles, and then the renewal of the Jews at the end of time, he says, Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments. That just means we won't fully understand this. We can know what it means. 
we can read it and understand it, but its fullness is beyond our finite minds. How unsearchable his judgment and his paths are beyond tracing out. We can't trace out God's paths. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who's ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. It's good to be with you, friends. Look forward to being with you this Sunday. Have a great week.